In other news, Cheshire Home Society of Zambia has underscored the need for government to facilitate the easy movement of persons with disabilities. Organization Chairperson Gaudenzio Rossi has reminded government to effectively domesticate the United Nations Convention on the Rights for Persons with Disabilities, which Zambia is a signatory to. He made the remarks during the handover ceremony of vehicles, computers and solar equipment to the Cheshire Homes Partner Organization organization, including one network organization. Article 9 on accessibility of the Convention on the Rights for Persons with Disabilities lays out measures that state parties should put in place to ensure that persons with disabilities have access on an equal basis with others to physical environment, to transportation and communication, including information communication technology systems, both in rural and urban areas. But however, this remains a challenge in the country. Cheshire Homes Society of Zambia has underscored the need for the government to facilitate easy movement of persons with disabilities in the country. The organization has been playing a critical role to complement the government's efforts in safeguarding the plight of persons with disabilities in the country. The organization handed over vehicles, computers and solar equipment to Cheshire Homes partner organizations, including one network organization. Is our protector real and, uh, and uh, it does when he can try to help us. at the time I'm just failing to reach him so it's just one of these things um, we are signatory as Zambia of certain United Nations protocols which we don't really observe and this is where, where the appeal is on, uh, on, on your uh, TV Please, to the government, please, can we observe the protocols which we have signed? Some of them are to do with, um, I don't know, uh, having proper entrances for disabled people in new buildings. Cheshire Homes National Coordinator Kami Manguni also shared his views. Yeah, so today we've just handed over uh, four main baskets. The one Nissan Quattro, uh, and five computers, one printer, and this one I to seven partner organizations. So as Cheshire Homes of Zambia, we support programs for children and young persons with disabilities in the whole country. So we are currently supporting about 25 partner organizations in Zambia, and all these partner organizations, they implement different programs. But uh, essentially we, we have this program called the Child Empowerment Program which aims at uh, supporting children's rights and also supporting their needs, various needs, removing their barriers and supporting their rights for them to have access to services. Yeah. And beneficiary organizations expressed gratitude for the gesture. How to receive the bus? It will help us with our transport challenges. We attend to young adults from all over Lusaka and some of them because of their mental or uncognitive um, lack of development. It's hard for them to come by bus and some parents are not able to afford daily transport. So to be able to have our own bus to pick up these students from different locations and have them come to the program really helps us in the goal to make them independent so this uh, gift to us is uh, actually a prayer answered. We have actually received it uh, with a great joy. But with these new buses we have received, there is a, there is a space where the wheelchair can be taken. And we are not uh, struggling like the way we used to struggle to lift the child before entering the bus. These buses have all the facilities from down the child can be found in the bus. Patrick Soko, Camnet News.